Okay, so hello and welcome to another live gameplay video. I'm Mr. Digital. I'm going to be playing Space Quest 1. Okay, so hello and welcome to another live gameplay video. Uh, bas basically, I played Space Quest 4, but I have not played 1, 2, or 3. I've only played, I believe, 5 and 6. Six. When Space Quest came, was out, when um, Diver Six was out, I've never really played one, two, and three. So I've got a copy of uh, Space Quest One, the VJ remake. I'm going to be playing that live on YouTube for you guys. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So, I've got DOS box loaded uh, right there in the corner. Uh, right there is the cover art. Uh, Roger Wilco, Space Quest 1. Now, um, I, let me give you a rundown on what Space Quest is. Uh, basically, you pay... You play uh, a guy named Roger Wilco. It, it, it was released in October, or I, I believe the original was. And basically, play a fictional character named Roger Wilco. Uh, your 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 janitor from the place is uh, Zenon, of the Enon system, and you're the sole survivor of, of a scientific research ship, Arcata, which is overrun by the apparently hostile Siren. After several extremely deadly adventures and a bit of janitorial work, uh, Roger Wilco enters the Starcon Academy, graduating in, in a further game. Quest 5. He is he's promoted then from a janitor to the captain of the garbage scow SCS Rika. We also meet Beatrice Creekworm Wankmeister, with whom he becomes romantically involved in the, the next game, Space Quest 6. That's basically the, the rundown of the game. So, uh, So yeah, let, 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 let's get started. Got dust box open. Type in Sierra.
Yeah, you're startled by the sound of an alarm breaking through it. The intercom crackles with a frightened voice of a technician shout, uh, shouting that the Akira has been boarded by an unknown intruder. The transmission ends abruptly in a soundstorm or white noise soon overtaken by the cold din of silence. You hear the overly cheerful uh, voice of the ship's computer saying, Destruct sequence engage is engaged. Fifteen minutes till detonation. And as you see over here, we have fourteen minutes and forty-four seconds till detonation. There's uh, somebody over here. I'm not sure, quite sure how to get to the. Look at the person. Here, we better hide. Yeah, go this way. It's all that remains of Jerry, one of the few techno dudes aboard who sometimes tolerated your company. Your low clearance excluded you from visiting him during the performance of his duties in the elegant lower level airlock of the Arcada. Uh, let's see what happens if we go this way. Oh, uh, we have first step. How ends up going here? Uh, a cursory glance indicates that Dave, a lab technician, is dead. Normally, you wouldn't be able to tell, except that his intestines are hanging out of the scorched opening where his abdominal uh, uh, wall used to be. You remember that he was forced to serve in the Zen National Guard, but he wasn't bitter. This is one of the head research scientists, Blanche. You wanted to get her. You wanted to get to know her a little bit better. However, seeing her erupted chest, well, uh, reveals more about her than you were hoping to learn. The lightless body of Randy, one of the lab technicians, lies sprawled at your feet. Those laser blasts are nasty. Why, you can't distinguish uh, one exposed organ from another. It looks like there's something uh, blinking here. Let's see what that is. Uh, you find a small but heavy device affixed to the base of the star generator platform. It appears to be magnetic. That's how. That must be how the alien upset the force field protecting the unit. Let's see if we can take that. Let's see who this guy is. Uh, yet another crewman's motionless body reduces the shine of the floor wax. Hugh doesn't look too neat and clean with his lungs hanging out like that. Okay, I think that's all that looks like we're doing here. Let's go back out. Let's see what happens if we go. If we go this way.
Alright, here we go. Apparently we're under... Where's that? Is it keep walking? Another guy. This is Stuart, one of your crewmates. He appears to be non-functional. You used to kid him about how... Uh, about you used to kid him about it when he was alive, but now it's true. Let's get in there before they come. This monitor gives a readout about how about the ship status. Only lab scientist really knows or knew exactly what it monitored. Pair of viewing ports protrude from the material testing device. On the screen is some green dude. You've never seen the likes of it. Uh, the likes of. He seems to be talking, but the audio is out in this area of the ship. Be here for a step. The aliens observed their handiwork briefly before looking for others to process in similar fashion. So I guess I gotta restart the game. And we're back to square one. A somewhat spastic research droid blows up, uh, blows by in a tiz. Perhaps you could provide some relaxation therapy instructions. Reduce this level of... Uh, you heard that already. That... Let's see if we have to go this way. Cartridge is currently out on loan. Please try again later. Sorry, that cartridge was destroyed. Uh, cartridge was destroyed in a freak cruising accident. Take back just in a few months. Purchasing, purchasing should have a new one in by then. Okay. Obviously, I'm not sh quite sure what to do here, but it looks like someone destroyed the screen, so we can't use it. Let's try to get it up. Let's see what happens if we go this way. After only a few steps, he hits the floor with a disconcerting thud. The large laser hole has been burned in his uniform, giving you a nice view of previously unexplored. Struggling painfully, he props himself up on one elbow. His lips move. The star generator is in danger. The Arcada is under attack. You'd better get off the scow if you value your life, Wolfo. Just before his system ceases, all functions short of decay, he looks over towards the shelves full of cartridges and utters. Astral bodies with one last gasp, his lifeless form slumps to the floor. Apparently we need to use this.
it looks like we need to do um, this. This, this, and this. Hundreds pound. Now we're shooting. But what we want? Cartridge. Let's go back in and get that other thing. Let's get up a little bit. this I'm going to take a uh, short break. So uh, I'll be right back.
I am back. Okay, so let's go back onto here and check these guys out. Your search of David reveals nothing, even your carriage. Your plant receives, uh, reveals nothing, so let's check it here. Let's check these people. We're looking for, uh, I believe we need a key card. For what I've been told. But I could be wrong. Let's go here. Search the sky. Hey, okay. Jimmy has the key card. Perfect key card. Perfect. Okay, so we know that we have to hit this. Uh, I believe it is that. That and that. Apparently we gotta wait. Gotta come. Here's the scientist. So, chat. Now we should be able to do this. It is that, 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 that again. Uh, hold on. Uh, wait, that, and then it's this. That and then it is that again. Huh. Maybe you have to do something else to talk out up to the guy more, I think. I forget what it is. Let's see. Yeah. No. We only got three minutes and 34 seconds. So we need to figure this out. 
for them. For this one, it's that, it's that. It's that. That. And that again. Yeah, it's gotta be that. I don't know why it's not coming up. I don't think we have it already. Huh. Uh, I just had a skin. You know what, I'm gonna, rest I'm gonna have to restart the game and try it again. I'm not quite sure why it isn't working. Let's start the game over. <sighs> now we know we gotta get the key card and we gotta talk to the scientist and get that, uh, Widget thing, I guess. Go here. I'll make this faster. Let's make it right about there. Let me go a bit faster. I have to Alright, so up here. Key card. Now we wait for the scientist, which I'm not quite sure why this didn't work last time. I don't know where, where where the guy is now, which is odd. Let's see what's this way, and it brings it back that way. All right. Maybe I just looking for.
His lips move. Astral body. Looking at the, the manual, it should be that, 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 and then back to that. Oh, okay, great. Now I get it. It's perfect. Exit to the left. I mean, I mean, our left. Here. Just in case. Okay, that doesn't work. Black and yellow shirt door. I need to go back to that yellow shirt door. Was this way?
Uh, and we gotta go right again. Guessing. Guessing we need to use. It looks like a key card. So we've done it, we've escaped the spaceship that was going to detonate. Now let's see what's next. So now we're just floating in space. Okay, so now do we Thank you for flying Arcata. Getaway Potline. It's nearly been a pleasure serving you. Tell a friend if we got one. Alright, so I guess we need to. This is good. We need to under the belt and get the heck out of here.
the hell is that thing? Good thing I'm, I moved. Wow, what is it? Okay, wow, this planet looks weird as hell. Alright. Oh, let's, grab, let's grab a plant. We might need that. Alright, best of six horse and Fortnite old undergarment. It's a good thing your gloves are telefloid coated. Or telefloid coated. Rats, if the eyes don't dece deceive, that's a Sarin, uh, Sarin spider droid. They must have detected the escape pod leaving the Arcata. Spider droid must have been sent along to settle any unfinished business. After, jarring imp after the jarring impact, small panels open through the which legs sprout. You recall reading in an old issue of a Space Piston magazine that this Droid was designed to seek out organic life forms and self destruct when close proximity to the target has been achieved. I guess I wasn't supposed to go there. Alright, well, that does it for this part of Space Quest 1. It is getting pretty uh, late over here. So I'm going to have to end this video. I'll be back tomorrow night. And we will continue uh, Space Quest 1. So, see you guys later.